Hello, my fellow Wastelanders, I am more to me for life, and we are back with Fallout 4 and Nick Valentine giving us the skinny on the latest, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, this time the challenge is an orphanage, and we are here at Hangman's Alley where I am trying to do, like, a miniature version of Little Lamplight. Or at least that's kind of the feel. I want a, a slight difference from Little Lamplight, though I'm not really sure precisely what. But this is what I've got so far. I've pushed the uh, entrance out. And I've even got like a little trap over here in case enemies spawn over here. And I've already stepped in it a couple of times. I've pushed the entrance out. We've got some turrets up there. We've got several little places where children have got uh, homes. In my opinion, if a child has survived the wasteland, chances are they're going to feel more secure up high off the ground in case something happens and they're probably not going to be extremely close though there are some bigger like some bigger structures here I mean there are going to be some smaller children some that probably shouldn't be up high but for the most part like an eight nine and ten year old is going to be pretty self-sufficient in order to survive in the wasteland but just in case there are any younger ones we've also got some bigger structures here and let me go over here to what I've got so far and give you kind of a panorama. Right now, all these side structures are going to basically be like little bunk houses for... Ah! Ow. Uh, little bunk houses all over the place. And then I've got a building back here that's either going to be for housing or for maybe a, a kitchen area. And I do not have any texturing up, so forgive me on the plainness. I've actually been focused on security for now because my biggest thing was to make sure that the children were safe. So we've got traps down there, down here, down there, some security over here, and we've even got a security area right there for the back entrance. Hiya, Nick. And now I'll walk through this building here so you can get a look at it. It's not as big as the other one, but it will definitely do. And there's the secondary entrance, which I have chosen to not take the chain off of, especially for this particular thing, because, well, you don't want children wandering out there into the wasteland and getting hurt after they have found their way here. So I left the chain on. But that is it. Now, I do have a mod that is going to be in my updated mod list for the next build. I do not have it on there right this second. I, or if, I, if I've got time to, I will throw it up there. But... It will be on there, and all it does is expand the building limit up some. It, it doesn't increase the size because I'm... Wah! I am using the computer, therefore I have the ability to increase my size anyway. What I wanted was the ability to build up a little bit on the roof. Which right now I haven't even... Ah! I am so glad I turned God Mode on. I had to do it because like, if I didn't, my traps would have killed me. And me falling in this particular area would have killed me already. But I am not using God Mode to give me resources. I am still building with my own resources. But right now for this particular uh, viewing, I am actually showing you all this stuff without the walkways. So I needed the benefit of having... Uh, let's see, let's get up in the air a little bit. I needed the benefit of being able to move around as much as possible without dying. Ah! I went through the building. Let's not do that. Alright, now I don't know what I'm going to do if, as far as whether or not I'm going to put any of the structure on the roof. Uh oh. <laughs> if any of these buildings are going to be partially on the roof, but anything that's outside of the build zone, which is... I tested it. This one right here, this particular roof right here is as high as I can build. So anything that I put outside the build area, I'll have to build up and then place in that particular area individually. Which might be a pain. I I am sure it will be a pain, actually. Because all the pieces I did for the front gate over there and for this back gate, because those of you who know the build stop, it stops right about here. So everything that I placed out here had to be built inside and then moved out including these turrets right here but that is what I have got so far thankfully the place everywhere mod finally updated so I could do this and yeah I'm just kind of 
throwing in buildings to see where I want them. None of these buildings are necessarily going to be here for the final build. These textures are not necessarily going to be the textures I use for the final build. I might tear all this down and redo it, but this is what I have got. This is kind yeah, of my uh, my sketch, I guess you could say. And here's another little building right here, too. But this is what I have, if you have any ideas. I want it to feel like Little Lamplight, but definitely like an updated version of Little Lamplight. Like, maybe those children came out into the wasteland and learned a few things. So I'm not precisely sure what, and before anybody says anything, yes, there are floating buildings all over the place. None of the supports are in. No details at all. No texturing at all. Just the sketch. So that is all I have for right now, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful 5 o'clock somewhere. And y'all make sure you check out my playlist for other builds we have done with Fallout Challenges.